Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So, you know the Far Lands, okay. Sorry, that was a little... <laughs> I just did not start the video. Okay, so you know the Far Lands it is just a giant wall of broken terrain that appears over 12.5 million blocks from spawn. You can bring it back with mods, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, if you know a lot about Minecraft, you ought to know about the Far Lands. So, the far so put simply, the Far Lands are a wall of broken terrain. Terrain breaks to make the Far Lands. But what about... What if the Far Lands break? Today I'm going to show you three worlds where I have broken the Far Lands using customized worlds. Okay. So, first off, you may think, wait a minute, what's wrong with this world? <laughs> yeah, as you can see here, I've set the coordinate scale to a high number. And as you... And yes, the default, um, no the default coordinate and height scale numbers are a multiple of the number used in terrain, meaning you can just, put simply, you can change the coordinates of the far lands as I told in in another video I made yeah this is this is a little mod pack which I made using a few other mods the three mods I'm using are optifine the a far lands mod that is for 1.12 and the cubic chunks mod. This is not a cubic chunks world. It's just a regular customized world. And voila! These are the far lands. Wait, what? Look, see, you might not notice. Okay. I set the coordinate scale number to, uh, I think it was 1 million. Which have forced the far lands to generate a mere 856 blocks from spawn. But look at this. There, these are so. This is so much repetitive terrain. And if you know a lot, a lot about Minecraft, you might think these look like the 64-bit farlands near the corner. Yeah, the 64-bit farlands, which are just the 64-bit equivalent to the farlands. They, they are like really repetitive near the corner. Although you can only really view it in the 64-bit mod for Minecraft 1.2. So this kind of looks like the 64-bit farlands near or at the corner. So yeah. Honestly, I don't know why I don't know what caused it. It couldn't have been Optifine cuz like that just increases performance. But like my gosh, that is high. But like the Far Land, if you use this doing, but the Far Lands mod, all it does is just bring the Far Lands into modern versions and remove the world border. So that led me to think it's cubic chunks or something. Because that can affect world generation. There's the corner. Um, but, well, it only really does it in cubic chunks worlds. And this is not a cubic chunks world. This is just a regular gold old, good old customized world, which existed throughout one, from Minecraft 1 1.8 to 1.12. And fortunately for me, the the cubic chunks is 1.12. I don't know why it's 1.16 and above. I don't know why. So yeah. 
There's the village down there. As you can see, there's a super dense repeating patterns. This is what the 64-bit Farlands should look like near the corner, like at the corner. Except for some reason, the, the 64-bit Farlands get cut off at around 128 blocks up on the y-axis. <laughs> yes, I know a lot more about Minecraft than you think. Or that at least I've shown off on my channel. Oh look, some husks. Oh, I... oh, the world's like barely updating. Like these set of corner farlands, okay. Okay, now I'm not a good, I'm not a good math expert. So, I'm just going to teleport to roughly the coordinates of the farther lands. Positive X, positive Z, there we go. Just keep going. So, like, the, the farther lands always generate 80 times further away than their respective far lands. So, the 64-bit far lands generate, in a regular world, at 1.004 billion blocks out. Which, if you do the math, is roughly 80 times further away than the 32-bit far lands. And the 64-bit farther lands generate roughly 4.3125 quintillion blocks out. As because the 64-bit the far lands generate at roughly 53.9 quadrillion blocks. Okay, here are the farther lands. On. Yeah, look, a, a village in here, and the church just gets cut off. This is this a library? Yeah, this is a library. It's like it just narrowly avoids getting cut off. First, let's just see in the blacksmith's chest, then I'll show you the other. No, not that good. Yeah, except for iron. Yeah. So, um, just setting the far lands closer to spawn just squishes terrain in more. And that and cubic chunks is probably what's causing those repeating patterns. I don't know. Like, I'm not a complete far lands expert. I'm not even sure anyone on YouTube has covered this. Okay. Those are the farther lands. I'm not joking. I am zero blocks from sp <laughs> Yeah, if you if you multiply 684.412 the default Noise scale number by a number. I I can't. I don't know. I can't remember the number. Like you can find it on the Minecraft wiki, on the page Far Java Edition Farlands after Beta 1.8 in the farthest lands section. So yeah, I did that. I multiplied 684.412 by that number, and this is the monstrosity that happened. The far lands got squished in so much that I can't even see the start of the farther lands. Like, these are the corner far- like... Like, these are the negative x, negative z corner farther lands. Negative z, positive x corner farther lands. Positive x, positive z corner farther lands. Positive z, negative x corner farther lands. Yeah, not only can you not see the start of the far lands, but you can't even see the start of the farther lands. But there, but, when you change the coordinates of the far lands, 
you change the coordinates of the 64-bit far lands too, because they're basically the same. No, you can't see it because of my face. But I'm teleporting to the coordinates of where the far lands would be. Ta-da! These are the, actually the 64-bit farther lands. <laughs> Sorry, the 64-bit far lands. Changing the coordinate scale number to a number so high causes the 64-bit farther lands, otherwise known as the farther lands, to generate roughly the coordinates of the 32-bit far lands would regularly generate. I am 12,550,821 blocks away. Sure, they don't generate exactly that distance. They generate 831 blocks, but yeah. Mm. Although, look at this. These are the... Actually, wait. I don't know. This is not what the 64-bit th far... Farther... These aren't what the 64-bit far lands usually look like. It's probably just because of the very high corded scale number that they drastically changed their appearance. I don't know. Or maybe? Wait, are those the... I think that the 64-bit far lands are usually supposed to generate lower, like around 128 blocks. I don't know. Honestly, I'm not sure which one is the, the farther land. That one, this or this. But, if I teleport to roughly the coordinates of the 64 of the 32-bit farther lands, then you should see the 64-bit farther lands at the coordinates of where the 32-bit far lands would regularly generate. These are like the, actually the first time I've ever seen these. I'm not joking. Of course, you can see them better with the 64-bit mod, which I am currently trying so hard to get. It's just a super powerful mod. It's pretty complicated. Once I make a video about the 64-bit mod, then, like, I'll leave it in the description. So, yeah. <laughs> I didn't really cur- I actually don't know if that's corrupting the Farlands severely or not. But, like, I'm changing their- coordinates, and when getting to witness the 64-bit iterations of all of them. It's like, if you divide the 64-bit limit by 171.103, you get the coordinates of the 64-bit farther lands. <laughs> Sorry, the 64-bit far lands, why do I keep getting that wrong? And multiply that number by 80, and then that's the 64-bit farther lands for you. This is the last one I'm going to show you in this video. Okay, now you may be wondering, what's going on? Why is there no far lands? Well, I'm currently around 10,000 blocks out. I wanted to save the best for last. Or the least. <laughs> yes! These are, um... So, actually, I'm not sure what set of far lands these are. I'm guessing it's the 64, but farther lands. I, th I set the coordinate scale number to, I think, it was one with, like, I don't know, like, 30 zeros after it? And this happened. <laughs> yeah. Basically, all of the far lands just getting compressed, like all of it into um, I'm not sure. It's just all of the far lands generation getting reduced to a single strip, because like the 64 bit far lands actually degrade, like going very very far out. Like, I wanted to try and see that, so I typed in the coordinate scale number with, like, I think one with 30 zeros after it. But instead of trying to find the far lands degrading, I just, like, found this monstrosity instead. Although, as you can see, it is exposing some mineral generation. 
like this redstone ore and this iron and this, these diamonds. As you can see, there's lots of fossils generating, even though in modern, even though like they're pretty rare. This is a swamp biome. Wait. Details. Swamp colors. There. I turned off swamp colors for Optifine, because I. Like, just to make it a little smoother. That is it for the video. Um, you might want to try these out for yourself. I don't know what to say, just bye.